Hey everybody, this is Mr. MathBlog. Uh, this lesson is describing angles in plane shapes. So we're going to have some uh, larger angles, some smaller angles. So let's talk about that, you guys. So our common core strand is the same, and how can we describe uh, um, uh, There should be the word angles in plane shape. Oops, let me, let me do that. Angles in plane shape. Okay, so how can we describe angles in plane shape? Let me save that real quick because I send this to teachers in my school district, okay? All right, here we go. So an angle here, you guys, here's an angle over here to the right, right here. So this angle um, uh, right here is formed by two rays. Remember, rays have a, <clears throat> a starting point. The books call them endpoints, and it goes forever in one direction. So there's an arrow right there. And here's another ray over here, so the arrow goes in that direction. So they um, they share the same endpoint right here, okay? And so that endpoint is called the vertex, okay? And so um, if there's more than one vertex, we call them vertices, okay? So they're plural for vertices. So here we go. John drew this shape on dot paper right there. So let's, let's answer this. How many... How many angles are in John's uh, shape right here? Well, let's just go count them, okay? So so here's an angle right here. Now, just pretend like that's a ray that goes on forever and ever and ever. So wherever they have endpoints, where the endpoints meet, that is an angle. So there's an angle. Here's another angle. It goes from here to here. Here's another one down here. This would be the common vertex right here. The common endpoint goes up here, over here, and then here's another angle. So there's four angles and there's four vertices but they want to know how many angles there's there's four angles right there okay so let's look at the angles in the shape that John drew how can we describe those angles so let's go ahead and describe them so a right angle you guys is where think of an edge of a piece of paper you guys that's a right angle right there it makes a 90 degree angle we'll talk more about 90 degrees later but there's a right angle right there and how you say right angles how you show that is with these little box symbols so if they have a little box there then that means it's a right angle right there and then so that would be a right angle some angles are opened up less than a right angle Le uh, later on we're going to learn I think it's in fourth grade I think uh, it's going to be called an acute angle when it's less than um, a right angle it's less than 90 degrees okay so th uh, this angle is definitely less than uh, one of these it's opened up less right there okay this angle up here though is bigger so if we did that one right there then that would be an angle that's greater than a right angle so we'll talk about using the corner of a piece of paper in just a little bit you guys because the corner of a piece of paper is a nice right angle right there if you have you know regular old piece of like printer paper or something or like a little sticky tab if your teacher has sticky tabs that would be a good thing to use as measuring right angles okay so we have we have these things right here that are called right angles okay like your walls typically your walls in your classroom they form at a right angle your your floor and your wall is a right angle so I'm looking down at my floor and how it meets the, the wall that goes straight up that's a right angle and um, I'm sitting here looking at one wall meeting another wall. It makes a nice right angle. Sometimes they don't, uh, but most of the time they do. They make right angles right there. Your ceiling and your walls usually make right angles right there. Okay, and things that are opened up uh, less than a right angle. This one's opened up less than this one right here. So this one said it's going to be less than a right angle. Okay, this one is opened up more than a right angle. If it was a right angle, I would go straight down right here, and it would be a right angle with this guy, but this one's opened up more. And if I was going to make a right angle over here, I'd go straight up. Okay, so so this one's opened up less than a right angle. Okay, all right. So uh, let's look at John's shape again right here. So there's uh, these are this is John's shape. So there's we have um, uh, two of the angles are right angles right here. And how many angles are um, uh, we're going to answer this part right here? How many angles in John's figure are are less than a right angle? Just this one right here. We have these two right angles. We have one that's less than a right angle, and we have one that's more than a right angle. So that's what goes in those two blanks right there. Okay. All right. So how do we know uh, when an angle is greater than or less than a right angle? Okay. So so if you look at the edge of a paper, so this is like a little sticky note that your teacher probably has. I have I have yellow ones in my classroom. 
Sometimes I have green ones, but right now I have yellow ones in my desk in my classroom. And if you look at the edge, that's a perfect right angle, so we can use this as our measuring tool for other angles. And so I'll show you that here. So an angle that's opened up more. So if I take this and shrink that up. Now remember, this this right here is a is a right angle. So if an angle is opened up more, then it's going to be more than a right angle. So if I put that right there, can you see how how this angle is opened up more than that right angle? So it, it's just more than a right angle. Okay, later we'll learn about that being called an obtuse angle, but that's I think in fourth grade. Here's an angle that's opened up less. Okay, if I if I shrunk that up again and put that corner over there let's see right there okay right there would be the corner oh you can't see that very well let's let me do this i know no, i'll just cover it right up how did i do that what did i do oh i know what's going on okay let me move that over <laughs> okay uh can you see that that one's opened up less than a right angle right there so um because uh, the right angle is this guy and this one opens up less it goes inside so it's it's an angle that's smaller or less than a right angle so that's how we can tell so how many uh angles are in this triangle over here well that one's pretty easy we just count where the the end points are so here's one angle here's one angle here's one angle right there so there's three angles right there okay so let's use the corner of this sheet of paper that we have right here and tell whether the angle is a right angle, an angle that's less than a right angle, or an angle that's greater than a right angle. So I'm just going to do that with all of these. So they want us to focus on the blue angles right here. So we're going to focus on this one, on this one, and on this one. Now typically, if you see that little box, that means right angle. That's code word right angle. So let me move that out of the way. Okay, so can you see that this one is opened up greater than the right angle? Okay, if we put this over here, that one's opened up less than the right angle. And that one is a right angle right there. So, so that one's greater than a right angle. That one's less, and that one is a right angle right there. All right, so uh, write how many of each type of angles that we see in each shape, okay? So we got uh, three different figures right here, okay? Now, the boxes right here means that we have right angles. There's one, two, there's three right angles. So I'll put a three in right here. I don't see any boxes in here, so I'll put a zero in here. And this one has four right angles, okay? So there wouldn't be anything that are less or anything that are greater because all of these ones are all four right angles, okay? And what I'm going to do is use that sheet of paper to figure out the rest of them right here, okay? So so let's go ahead and do the the, the what we just talked about right there, the right angles, okay? So we know that there's, there's uh, three right angles because there's three little square marks right there, so three right angles. This one has four of them, so these ones are zeros right here. Okay, and then, um, uh, let's see, I forgot what I did next. I'll come back. Okay, let's go over here. Okay, so I'm going to go over here, and uh, let's, so we're, we're just going to focus on these two angles now, because we know that these three are right angles. Is this one opened up more or less? And how about this one? Well, we can just use our piece of paper right there and just line it up and see if it's opened up more or less. So I'm just going to put that right there. Can you see that one's definitely opened up more? And same with this side over here. So there's there's uh, zero of them that are opened up less and two of them that are greater than a right angle right there. Okay, how about this guy right here? This one doesn't have any right angles. This one right here doesn't have any right angles. So let's go ahead and put that in there, zero right angles. All right, and then let's see about these angles here. Okay, um, let's look at this. I'm looking at the top left-hand corner right here. Can you see that? This angle right here is opened up more than this right angle right here. So there's one angle. We can figure out that the same is happening on that side. So there's another one that's uh, opened up more than one right angle. And then these guys on the bottom, they're opened up less. So so this one we're going to put, um, there's, there's uh, two that are greater than a right angle and two that are less than a right angle right there. Okay, hope that makes sense, you guys. All right, you guys. I hope uh, I hope you guys are doing well, and you're you're. Uh, we're right now in that coronavirus uh, quarantine, and so I'm I've been sitting at home for the last three weeks. All right, take care.